What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back, and this is going to be the final thing. We're gonna have to move. There's not much time left before the beta closes, so we're gonna do this quest, um, Floating Continent Expedition. 28 is the recommended level. We are 31, so should be good to go, but, um, like I said, it's about to tick over to 2.41 a.m., which will give us just 18 minutes left in the beta, which means I am going to, like, run past some enemies because I want to make sure I don't get stuck midway through this quest. That would be really stupid. So we're going to put a little bit of movement into this, skip some enemies, and we're going to try to get this done in time. So let's get going. It is comprised of many smaller islands suspended in the air. You can also find numerous structures... I am going to kill some stuff. I'm not just going to skip every enemy, but... What? Myriad catapults are scattered about the place to facilitate traversal between islands. Use them to proceed. All right, what the W? We get. I kind of like that concept. It's kind of a cool gameplay concept where you kind of have to take these like wind catapults to get to loot and items. Cool concept. Cool concept. I I, I dig it. You'll see me peek over. I'm gonna peek over at the time from time to time to make sure that we got enough we got enough time to finish this. It's kinda of weird. I got like zero sleep through this beta, but I did not get as progressed as I probably should have. We're being all all honest about this. I don't think I got anywhere near as close to getting leveled up as I should. I'm only level 34. There were level 40s yesterday, and really I should have had like this eight hours to level up still, but I fell asleep. It's probably, it's kind of stunning to me that I probably didn't reach level, like, 45. That's probably the, if you told me I never slept during this beta, I think that's the level I would have guessed I would have got to, but. Congratulations on completing the objective. We still progress pretty far. 31 is not a bad progression. It's obviously not, like, completed. Um, I actually think it might be this over here. I I feel like there's some way that you can jump up onto that and go up. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Yeah. Alright, so time-wise, I'm going to keep us updated on this. We got 16 minutes before it sends me to the moon and kicks me off the server. It's gonna be a sad time I get kicked off of this. I mean, you play a game this much in this little amount of time, you kind of get attached to playing the game. I don't know how much how, how much time I have put in. A lot of it sent, spent AFK. I, mean, code, I didn't sit on this game and play it. A little bit, but I'm gonna try to heal heal Wanda. Okay, you know what, Wanda, you're weak. We're gonna skip those enemies. And there we go, next area. Beautiful. Alright, let me try to get a heal, little heal off here on Wanda. What's the point of being able to attack that? Alright, so we got some loot over here. Let's grab this real quick. We do have time. Wanda, Wanda, come here. Be wary of your surroundings. Wanda is weak. What is she? Oh my gosh, there's a ton of enemies here. Yeah. Loot. I want to kill the big thing at least. Why am I doing 13 damage? Hello? Alright, Wanda's down. Wanda's down. Never a good thing. Dragon. Lock on. This is the one thing that's, like, baller about the dragon, is it can lock onto, like, all of these enemies at once. Gone. Why do I deal, like, no damage to this thing? Gone. Alright, get me some of my points back so I can keep spamming this lock on attack. 
It's so good, I love it so much. It just absolutely destroys. I don't know why we deal no damage to this thing. There's probably some real, like, tangible reason that I... Wait, I just did a bunch of damage to it. There we go. There we go. We're doing actual damage to it now. I don't know what changed, but I'll take it. And it gave us some good experience. Alright, let's go this way. What the heck? Kill it! Kill it with fire! There we go. I'll take it. Rare item drop. Nice. I'm gonna skip those enemies. Code attack. Lock on. And that didn't kill him. <laughs> this is see, I I do really the drag. I'm on the fence still. I gotta decide if I like dragon or not. But I like when I can do this stuff with the dragon, like when there's a bunch of enemies and I can just lock onto them and, and go. I like Wanda because Wanda's my all-purpose. Wanda's definitely my favorite pet I have, and it's probably just because I've used her the most, but still, it, it remains the, the same, is that... What, what the... What the... Emergency! What is this? Kill it with fire! What is happening? Emergency! Code like a mini boss. What is happening? Well, we're gonna be here for a while just smacking away at this giant ass chicken. What is happening? Do you die at all? I don't want to bring out um, Synchro. He does more damage. Okay, as I do that, he wow. was one shot that anyway. Amazing. But yeah, Synchro does a lot of damage. His like on a single target. Completed. On a single target, Synchro's probably the best. Almost. I almost. Uh, that out, but on single target, Synchro is definitely the best. He does like the most damage, which is why I like him. Um, back to Dragon. Okay, everything here. The Dragon is really good at multi targeting, it's really terrible at single targeting. Um, I might have gone the wrong way. This might not be the exit. Uh, no, actually, you can continue over here. So this is definitely the exit. I think I s maybe see it. Maybe. E I think I do. Go. That's probably. Eh, didn't actually kill both of them. Let's get Wanda out here. I'll clean up. We're semi decent on health. Not great, but not bad. Clean that up. I'm gonna heal Wanda and myself. There we go. Is Dragon back up? That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Go to Synchro real quick. There we go. Lock on. Why is it not locking on to you? There, just kill that, please. Thank you. Server maintenance is gonna happen very, very soon. But it looks like we're gonna get this. We got to the final area. We have nine minutes to kill the boss here. Um, I'm gonna start out with, Dra well, I'm gonna start with Wanda, Dragon, yeah, or no, maybe Wanda, eh, it depends, I'm not really sure. I probably should have healed, I didn't even heal. 
Okay, so it's a singular enemy, which is nice. So Synchro becomes very highly usable here. I'll probably go Wanda Synchro. But I like... I love starting out with Wanda because while they're, like, sitting there initial spawning, Emergency. Wanda just can absolutely smoke their shit. And that's going to be it for Wanda. So on to Synchro we go. And then I go to my single target DPSer. And he's just so good. Look at all that damage he does. And his attack does not cost a lot of points to use. So you can kind of just spam it. And then his regular attack is pretty darn good. Anyway... Uh, is that him dead? Yeah, that's him dead. Dragging out. We can multi-target. Such a good attack. There we go. Multi-lock on. Okay. Dragging down. What Wanda's does back up. Perfect. Ooh, that almost just smoked me in the next year. Let me get away. Make sure I don't die. This is kind of, this is perfect. Wanda's hovering just out of reach. And Wanda went up to the back there. That was perfect. Gorgeous work by Wanda. Well, that's gonna be it for Wanda. Well, maybe not. I didn't do like the slam attack into her. Over there, get right back on top of it. Clean damage in there. Prop well, Wanda's actually staying alive. There's that's it for Wanda. Okay. Yeah, I gotta let it just do its thing, get me back some stuff. Ooh, nice dodge. There you go. Get some damage in there. Target on. Yo. Nice. That's big damage. That is huge damage. Kick it while it's down here. That hit. That hit. Threats dragon down. Move on to Synchron. Or Synchro. I always call it, I always want to call it Synchron, but it's Synchro. Did you see that? That was an 1800 damage hit by Synchro. Which is crazy. Such a good single DPS attacker. I really only use these three pets, if we're being honest, but I do like having the other ones at least unlocked and usable. Alright, what time do we got? We got six minutes. We're doing great. I feel like we've done a ton of damage to the Quartz Dragon, so... And we're just dealing more and more to... And Wanda's still alive. Okay, so Wanda's still alive. Perfect. Nearly finished. Beautiful. So that's it for Wanda. That's fine. I'm gonna go into Dragon... Because I have all my points available to lock on, and there it is! Nice and easy finish! Let's go. Clean up the Quartz Dragon. That, that's probably my favorite fight. I'm happy. I really was, uh... I was thinking about just calling it and not, uh, not pushing to try to get one more expedition done, but I'm really happy I did. That's probably one of my favorite quests that I've done in this. That was a really fun boss. Uh, the mechanics were great. Um... It could probably have a little bit harder tracking to your own character if it pushed to, like, kill you a little bit more. Because it was fully focused on my pet. I was never really in danger there. There was, like, one time when it almost hit me. But other than that, it was a pretty easy um, fight from the standpoint of it. It never really put me into a whole lot of danger. So, new client orders from different people. That's awesome. Um, obviously, I don't have time to mess with those now. But Which the next... Expedition we do have unlocked is uh, Ruins exp Expedition or Exploration and uh, Dragon Altar Exploration. That's going to be awesome. We also have these down here Coast Exploration, uh, Abandoned, uh, Abandoned Mine Exploration, and Daybreak Province Exploration. So hopefully that's not all the explorations, but uh, that will be everything from the beta. Uh, we timed this well. It is 2.55 a.m. Beta ends at 2.59. Uh, happy to what get this it? done when I could. We hit level 31 in the beta. 
I honestly am a little disappointed in myself that I didn't hit like 40. I probably should have hit 40, 45 in the beta if we're being honest. But I lost a bunch of time because my ass, my ass finally ran out of uh, energy. I mean, if you want to, so here's what happened. So obviously this is no longer anything related to this game. So if you don't care about it, no, no harm, no foul. I'll see you guys later, but uh, I'll explain what happened. So I got up at 9 a.m. on Friday because um, my mom was going to scuba dive. I can't, I don't even know where they were going. Um, somewhere in the Caribbean to, to scuba dive. Anyway, we went out to breakfast and then we went to the bank and all that different stuff before she left. Then I got uh, on and finished some stuff that I needed to get done before this beta dropped. And then the beta dropped, and then from when the beta dropped all the way till 2 a.m., I just sat around because you couldn't get into the beta. I recorded that first video that was like a half hour. Um, and so that happened. And then at like 2 a.m., the servers came back up, and I played that until 4 a.m. Then at 4 a.m., I took a nap and then was woken up by a friend like a half hour early. But I got a 25-minute nap, so we're at 25 minutes of sleep. Then at 5, I did the Urgent Quest. And then at 6, Call of Duty London started. So I did a watch party with one of my friends who streams. Um, so, yeah, we did that at 6 a.m. So from 6 a.m. to like like 3 in the afternoon, 4 in the afternoon. It was like 9 hours. So whatever 9 hours is, 3 in the afternoon, um, we did that. Then I took a hour nap. A little less than an hour. Uh, so we're up to like... We're up to like 80 minutes of sleep. Um, and so then... I got back on. And I played this until UFC main event started. Then I watched the UFC main event. That got over at 1am. Then I played this until 3am when the servers went offline. I went to sleep for 2 hours. So we're at like 3 hours of sleep. We're going to say 3 hours of sleep. Because it really wasn't 2 hours. It was like 3 hours total of sleep. Then at 5.30... More Call of Duty London got up, so I had to get up and hang with my friend again. She went live at like 5.30 a.m. Um, and then that was 12 hours, so then that put us at uh, like, f or it was 13 hours. That put us at like 6 at yeah, night, 6 at night. And then I ate, got some stuff around, and I was going to take like a 25-minute power nap. That's when it all went to hell because I didn't wake up, and then I woke up at like midnight and I was like oh my god I just want to sleep so I went back to sleep for another like hour and a half but the point is is I've gotten like zero sleep and my body gave out that's why I just didn't get enough done I wish I could have gotten more in the beta done I kind of feel guilty that I didn't I kind of didn't play as much as I probably should have but 31 is a not a bad start it carries over so that's the positives that we got and I'm gonna go and just hibernate and sleep maybe forever I'm still super tired. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the thought, think, think, thought of the beta uh, if you played it or if you're looking forward to when it comes to open beta on Xbox and PC. But uh, that's going to do it for us for the beta. This is definitely going to be the last video that goes up. You can see it's yelling at us. Servers are going to go down here in a couple of seconds. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.